guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Worst F, and this is a very exciting update in Marvel Strike Force. We've got three new characters that are coming out in this update, including Squirrel Girl, Beast, and Emma Frost, or as I like to refer to her as whip out the lotion you nerds this update is a classic tale of beauty and the beast but in all seriousness guys we already know the kids of squirrel girl and beast but now i'm going to introduce emma frost abilities to you as well as reveal the new reworks to american chavez spider-man miles miss marvel cyclops wolverine phoenix that's already a bunch of characters right there but it's not even the end uh, i'm also going to be talking about saber tooth uh, small rework mr sinister strife and finally and least importantly Toad also got a small little rework as well. So we're going to dig into all that right now. But we begin with number one bay, Emma Frost. All right, so let's break down Emma Frost abilities here. We'll begin with her trait. She is villain, global, mutant, controller, and a brand new trait, Skiddly Diddly. Hello? Hey, Cerebro, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, I'm making the video right now. What? You retracted the skiddly dilly that was the most important part so skiddly dilly is actually not a real trait it's a made-up trait oh so yeah it turns out skiddly dilly doesn't exist guys but anyway she's villain global mutant and controller so let's begin with her basic ability fashionable strike attack the primary target for 290 percent damage it also flips two positive effects to negative effects if charged attack the primary target for 340 damage instead clears two positive effects instead that's pretty awesome right there as a basic ability that can flip positive effects guys it is a great ability that is on the black bolt level right there so i'm loving this basic ability right off the bat here let's take a look at our special diamond form it's a three turn cooldown and it starts off full if charged clear charged bury yourself for 20 percent of this character's max health Clear all negative effects from self and all allies. Apply immunity to self and all mutant villain allies. Apply slow to all enemies. Gain charge. Wow, so that is a lot of stuff happening right there. So first of all, she begins by clearing the charge. Barriers herself for 20% of her max health. She clears all negative effects from all allies. And then applies immunity to self and all mutant villain allies. And then also apply slow to all enemies that is magnificent right there wowzers bowsers and if you're wondering uh, right off the bat here her traits don't say marauder on it so why is everybody talking about her being a marauder well if you well just keep watching the video guys and it'll make a lot more sense as the video goes on uh she does a lot of stuff with her special there and it starts off full as applying a slow to all enemies that's incredible guys i'm loving her ability right there let's take a look at her ultimate turn the tables so this is a four turn cooldown starts off at two so this is going to be her second ability that you can use if charged it clears it all right so it seems like every time she takes her turn she clears her charge and then finishes it by getting another charge uh clears all positive effects from all enemies apply blind to the primary target mind control the two enemies or ally characters with the most damage to attack the primary target controlled characters gain 40 percent damage for this attack wow that is insane right there that is a loki special 2.0 in my opinion so now on one hand it doesn't apply the defense down that loki does but she mind controls two enemies or allies with the most damage so whoever's got the most damage is the ally that's going to assist and then they're going to attack the primary target and then not only that but those two characters that are controlled gain 40 percent extra damage Woo, that is pretty dope guys and don't forget that this also clears all positive effects so there goes their defense up so this is going to do some damage, guys. Absolutely awesome. And then also applies a blind too. I mean, this ability is insane right here. And it doesn't even stop there. If primary target is killed, apply blind to the non-summoned enemy with the most speed bar. So if you take a look at how this ability is actually going to be applied, she's going to hit, she's going to clear all negative effects, she's going to give them a blind. If they are killed by all the attacks, then that blind is going to actually go to the next character with the most speed bar. Fantastic, fantastic ability. I mean, I love her kid here it's unbelievable so let's also take a look at her passive and see what the white queen is all about on turn heal self for 15 percent of max health apply negative 10 percent speed to all enemies apply charge gained i'll charge gain 400 armor and 500 resistance on war defense on spawn apply defense up for two turns to all mutant villain allies 
wow guys this is unbelievable this is really really cool and if you know anything about marauders they're all mutant villains so there's one thing even though it doesn't say anything about marauders on her kit once we take a look at the reworks of the other characters you're gonna see the, how she fits in the team quite well here but unbelievable guys this kid is amazing i'm literally in love with emma frost physically and emotionally because her kid is so good man i can't wait to use her on the marauders team here but all right so let's move on to all the reworks of the characters and we'll break those guys down one by one all right so let's begin with american chavez her trait now also gained young avenger on it as you guys already know that's a new tag in the game young avenger so she is a young avenger her passive also changed it's updated to young avenger and hero brawlers allies gain 20 percent max health so this is a small little thing they did to her change the trait and then included young avenger on her passive as well let's go on to spider-man miles so miles rework is actually awesome guys his trait also now has young avenger on it but that's not all his basic is updated if squirrel girl is an ally or if the target has defense down clear three positive effects that is unbelievable ability right there guys three positive effects now as we go on you're going to realize why this is such a good ability but right now we're going to go on to his ultimate as well because that changed and we'll get back into his basic in just a second here so his ultimate also changed now it gains 100,000 extra focus for this attack and this cannot be blocked so now he's going to be able to hit his disrupt basically on anybody this is fantastic and a nice little upgrade to uh miles here and i think he's going to be a lot more usable now than he's currently been at this point now so let's also take a look at miss marvel and see what they did with her her trait also changed to young avenger as well so now her passive fangirl this was the key if this was going to change because that's what she's all about guys it was her passive now her passive says gain assist now on each young avenger or hero brawlers turn allies turn on turn grant assist now to a random young avenger or a hero brawler ally when a hero ally drops below 50 percent gain taunt if that ally is a young avenger or a brawler also gain two deflects wow that is awesome guys i was also so i know a lot of people were wondering if she's still going to keep that hero brawlers tag and ability with her so you can still have the hero brawlers teams if you want but the young avengers are just much much better guys they're so much more improved now let's get back into how this really fits with spider-man miles this essentially becomes yo-yo and black bolt if you think about it guys if you got miss marvel in there and she gets an assist from spider-man miles not only is he gonna attack but he's also gonna clear three positive effects from your opponents if squirrel girl is on the field or if they have defense down that is pretty dope guys young avengers i'm really liking how they're shaping up here and i'm gonna make a future video on how they play as soon as school girl comes out and what we can expect from them but i really really love the new little twinks they did with this young avengers team so i cannot wait to use these guys now let's move on to some other changes so with the arrival of beast storm is getting a quick little rework and it's fantastic take a look at this her basic ability updated if beast is an ally gain two charged otherwise gain one charged what this is off the chain right here guys so we already know what building up storm does just build up her charges as much as you can in raids and then once you go to the, the boss nodes you just proc her ultimate and it does insane amount of damage guys well guess what now we can get those charges up even faster with beast in there and we already know beast's kit is awesome for raiding now storm and and beast are an incredible team right here making the x-men very very uh raid viable guys i'm really really liking this ability right here if you're lucky enough to have a seven a six or a seven red star storm and you're charging up those uh charges this quickly two per basic attack you're gonna be at 20 very fast and boss nodes you're gonna be able to clear out a legit a whole row of boss nodes like that that's really cool but also her special has changed as well if beast is an ally there's a 50 percent chance not to lose charge so this was the thing about her i mean she was kind of a two ability carry you charge up her storms with a basic and then you go into her ultimate and you just hit everybody nobody really uses her special because it's either use her special and lose the charges or use the ultimate and lose the charges so now they kind of give you a little bit of an option if you got beast in there there's a 50 percent chance you can still have your charges so that's good still really doesn't change much you still want to just get her charges up and use her ultimate just clear everybody out but all in all a nice little change there also let's take a look at cyclops his basic also got updated a little bit if this character has one or more x-men ally always apply defense down so he's always going to be hitting that defense down on his basic now that's pretty cool 
Wolverine as well has got a little bit of a change here. His basic ability updated. If this character has one or more X-Men allies, all secondary attacks have a 100% chance to crit. If this character has one or more X-Men allies, this attack cannot be counter-attacked. So, so making his basic attack a lot better here, both for Cyclops and Wolverine. So I kind of like both of those little updates there. But the X-Men are not done just yet there, guys. Phoenix also got a little bit of an update here. So her passive ability is updated to on allies taunt, gain taunt. If Beast is an ally, gain taunt for two turns instead. Let's take a look at Sabretooth's passive. Now it's updated to gain 5% damage per Brotherhood or Mutant Ally. This is fantastic here. This bumps up uh, Sabretooth's damage quite a bit, guys. 5% per Mutant Ally and the Marauders are all mutant. So this is great here, making his damage a lot better. Also, Mr. Sinister passive changed as well. But not by much because now his passive just includes Emma Frost in the Marauders. So it's either Marauders or Emma Frost is going to give all of his buffs too. So this is really cool. Now it all makes sense why Emma Frost fits in the Marauders teams quite well. And we're not done just yet, guys. Strife also got a little bit of a rework here. So let's take a look at his special superiority. Increased barrier strength across all levels by 5%. So a stronger barrier never hurts. Uh, his passive also changed here. Unspawn fills speed bar by 10%. Plus 10% per mutant villain ally. Wow, that is magnificent there because now we've got another mutant villain ally on the field. So even more speed bar for him. On turn, if taunting gain one deflect up to a maximum of three gain barrier for 20% of this character's max health. When a mutant villain ally drops below 50% max health, gain taunt up to a maximum of three gain barrier as well. On regen, gain barrier for 10% of this character's max health. And then on war defense, gain 50% resistance. Mutant allies gain 50% resistance as well. And then same thing with the focus. Uh, gains focus and villain allies also gain focus. They're all mutant villains uh, in the Marauders team, guys. So uh, keep that in mind. This is looking like a really nice defensive war team here. And I can't wait to see what they're all about and how they really play out. And the final character they got a little rework here, guys, is Toad. His passive ability now... Uh, in war gains 100% focus brotherhood allies also gain 100% focus that is fantastic here this is well unbelievable this is really really good guys the brotherhood is all about applying those negative effects to your opponents giving them the bleeds disrupts and all that good stuff spreading them so the focus on all your brotherhood characters is amazing i love all these little changes that they made here plus i'm very excited for squirrel girl beast and emma frost so I'm going to end this video off here, guys. Hope you enjoy that. I probably will be live streaming right now over on Twitch, uh, you know, getting a feel of what's happening with all these new changes. So come on over there. And if you can't hang out now, always follow and you can hang out later on on Twitch as well. All right, guys. So I'll check you guys out later. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon. Good night, guys.